Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Super Mario Galaxy 2, and is this the day? It. There are nine stars left, spread across three levels. Is this when I get all the green stars? Maybe. Maybe. All right, and I just so happened to win the lottery, and the princess went ahead and sent me a letter that had five strange mushrooms growing. Just mold. It was really moldy paper. But Mario just scarves that all down. He's like, yeah, talk about a party. So yeah, we got three three furs. So that's really I'm pretty sure that was a two for right. All right, I guess not. All right, we'll go in order. We'll go. It's like if we're doing a loop compared to yesterday, where we went from right to left. Now we're clanging back up. We're going to do like no, we did right. Yeah, left to right. Anyways, this is the rune level with the rotating things and everything. One on top of one of the wheels! Great start! Wow! Yeah, can already hear it, but like I could also clearly see it. Uh, okay, so it's better to just land on this. All right, and it's just gonna, I think it's really just gonna be a, you know, a little bit of that, but, um, I think my angle messed up. But yeah, so the reality with this object is that it feels bad. But also, it's easier to walk across surfaces than trying to jump. Only jump when you're pretty darn gosh sure of where you are. I feel like my spin jump, well, my, my, my cartwheel is like late. It's a very strange sensation. Okay, but yeah, there you go. I thought I was too behind there, but turns out I wasn't. Hey, there's one like up there. Like while we were traveling, very, very okay. So when we get sideways, I'm gonna be running along the wall. I remember exploring there and being like, huh, I'm surprised there's nothing here. Turns out it's because it was gonna be later. Yeah, it's right there in a the corner. Basically impossible to miss. There we go. Just need to make sure I do this jump, and this jump, and we're good to go. This isn't even, like, a particularly hard corner to reach. Alright, we passed a thousand threshold, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that here. Just give him a thousand. It's all good, it's working for her. Wow, for an interest. Unbelievable. Yeah, I realize that a big chunk of this is just yesterday. <laughs> uh, that one cloud bit level, but... Yeah, it's, that's why I think farming's not gonna be that bad. Did, oh, he did transform! He's scuba diving! There's no southern seas on my head, buddy. You fool! Oh, what does that mean? That, where is that? Like, I'm trying to determine where that green star is. So I remember you, there's a thing about riding a wheel here, right? So is it just like riding the wheel to the end, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. Like normally, oh boy. You jump aboard the wheel, then you grab on to like the fun bars. My thing with you, yeah. There you go. That's pretty neat. That is a logical conclusion for this world. Absolutely. At this angle, you can see that fallen rocks come from nothing. Fallen rocks falling from the sky. And with that, only two worlds left. Galaxy is complete. 
Man, Throwback Galaxy does feel like it was meant to be for worlds, like for Dreamland, which is like reference world. Uh, but maybe they thought it was too easy? Because Dreamland is pretty hard, and this level is pretty free. There's one up there somewhere. I don't know how other to describe it other than up there somewhere in space. Like up there, okay, so I think it's like you need to like climb the Thwomp, the Womp King representative. Hey. Other than that, this is a pretty open level, and I'm surprised I haven't seen more than that. Right, can you just do this to get on top here? Of course you can. I mean, I think the one I'm hearing is just the one on, like, that's on the very top. Man. So, fun fact. As, when Mario 64 was released, I didn't care much for the main tune. Cause I was like, that's not a Mario tune! I'm an idiot child! But it's so good. It is such a good piece of music. Uh, Mario 64 Overworld. Uh, and this is a really fun remix. So yeah, you. I think I need like, get on your head. Fall. I'm gonna like, go here. Then I'm gonna like... Whoop! Oh, and fall off. Man. Yo! I got like this little like launch jump there. That was number two. Ooh, that's interesting. I can hear it from here. There's one close. Feels lower down. Oh. That was lucky. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened, but when I retracted my eyeballs, the platform pushed me in. I pressed wiggle. It's all worked out. <laughs> uh. Oh, we're in the cloud variant. So, I kind of have to re-explore the whole space then. Except now I have Cloud. It's over there. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Get Cloud and get over there. Got it. Like, do I want to go from here? Like, is it like, I cannot... I am not allowed to know where I'm going at any point in time. Okay, where is you? Here? Okay. I wasn't sure! There's, there's nothing! There is no visual coup anywhere! It's like, oh boy. But I feel like this is a sign that I'm getting a little bit more evaluating my immediate surroundings. Because I feel like earlier on in this project, I would have like somehow walked right off or something. It's the vibe I get. It's the feeling I honestly get. I'm very happy that worked out. Ugh. I mean, yeah, it's like locate using only sound. Sure, why not? I'm surprised Battle Bell has three. Like, this is not a mechanically, complexly constructed world. There's one around here. There's one on top of the capsule. 
so you gotta make sure that you get there before yes. you pop the capsule. Like, that's the challenge. So, is it on top of the capsule like the other previous? So, are they just repeating the same thing a few times? Because I saw that on another planetoid. That exact setup. <laughs> Wait, that's way at the end. You're making me play the whole, the whole level again. Oh, no. Yeah, see, the capsule goes away completely, so yeah. Yeah, there's a capsule here, so we go on top of the cap- this is, this is the same star three times. Unbelievable. And of course one of them is at the very end of the level. <laughs> what a- What an unfortunate way to end the Green Star Saga, though a part of me thinks... Maybe this is appropriate. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's just... Alright, alright, it's fine. At least it's easy. Man, they're making sure you can see that star, like, real obviously. I think they realize that putting it at the very, very end of the level is kind of a eh move. And they don't want you to just kind of, like, you know, not, uh, just kind of skip it by accident. Accidentally clear the level and destroy all the dogs, and this is it! Last star! Last green star! What is gonna happen? Uh huh, 2211. I remember that year. Wow, it's just straight up new level! I thought that's the reason why we were gathering all the star bits. Well, there's a new level in Dreamland. Filling up that peg. It looks kind of like a metal. Oh, we don't know what's in it yet. I just want to see. Because, like, I, I, I don't really know what to expect out of it, right? And, like, I mean, it's right over here, so it's fine. It says new. It won't tell us what's in it until we go on it. Grand Master Galaxy. Grand Master Galaxy. One star, one metal. Which means there's going to be a comet. And there also could be a green star. So... I said zoom out. Why did you zoom in? That is the opposite of what I wanted. Zoom out! Okay. <laughs> but okay. Hey, next time! New stuff! That's exciting! So it's gonna be like the grand finale of the game. Mastery is expected, so it's, I'm probably gonna have it that time. 